Hello y'all, Chef Jeffrey here with another video from Old School Soul Food. From Old School Soul Food here. Hey, today I'll be doing something that's so easy, so simple as usual. All my recipes are pretty much easy and simple. I'm going to be doing a recipe for my old school oven baked barbecue chicken. You know, sometimes I love the barbecue outside. I'm a barbecue fanatic. But sometimes in the winter time, or you just don't want to be dealing with charcoal and wood and island elements of the heat. Or if it's the winter time, it's too cold or whatever, or maybe it's raining, and you want some barbecue chicken, I'm going to show you a procedure that you can season it and put it in the oven, and it tastes almost as good, almost as good as you did it outside. So... Anyway, we're going to get started. Recipes on the description of the video. Please subscribe. Um, when people say I don't say that enough, so please click the red subscribe button down there. Please subscribe to this channel and you'll get notifications every time I post a video. So let's get started. I got some uh, some chicken here I washed off. I always wash your chicken off because it's full of salad and other stuff like that. So I have here in the sink uh, draining. And what I'm going to do here... I'm gonna uh, toss it with oil here. Toss it with oil. And I put oil on it so it, all the seasoning can really coat on there nicely. All right. Now, let's take these gloves off of here. Now I got some uh, liquid smoke. Some liquid smoke sauce on there. Some whiskey shot sauce. Put that on there. Put some uh, my my uh, favorite seasoning. Y'all know it's Cavendish Greek seasoning. And some paprika here. It's gonna give it the color that you want. Gonna give it that nice color on the chicken. Okay. Now I'm going to toss this all together here. Just all together. Okay. Color that. Now let me wash my hands here. We got that done and move this out the way. And we got barbecue sauce. This is the only time I use barbecue sauce in the bottle because the old school barbecue sauce is too thin for this. But I'm going to use the barbecue sauce later. I'm going to show you when. I got my pan here. I'm going to lay this chicken in the pan. Remember, all I got on here is uh, we're going to do skin side up. I got leg quarters here. I like to use the leg quarters. I think it's more expensive, and it's more cost effective too. Put that on here. Skin side up. That's important. Have your skin side up on this as much as possible. bit more paprika on that for color. Let me shake it out of that. Too much uh I don't want to put too much paprika on there. Shake it on there, yeah. Just a little more for color. Okay, what we're gonna do we're gonna uh Put it in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes uncovered at 450 degrees. So what I want to do, I want to get a nice, good, nice brown color on here. Plus, I want to try to get all the water out of here as I can. And you'll see when I take it out of the oven after 30, 45 minutes, I'm going to drain the water off there. It's going to have a nice color. I'm going to drain as much liquid off as I can. 
Then I'm gonna put the barbecue sauce on it and I'm gonna seal it and we're gonna cook it another 35 minutes. So first we're gonna put it on and just like this, uncover it. For 35 minutes. And we'll be back in about 35 minutes and I'm gonna show you the next step. All right, y'all, we back here. Okay, we're gonna get the chicken out of the oven. It's been in there about 45 minutes. You see how it looks now. It's not done, but I got some color on it. See that? That's what I wanna do. I want to get some color on it. Now I wanna see all this liquid here. I wanna drain this liquid off of here. Cause I don't want that liquid in there. So we put it back in the oven. So we drain that off. All as much as liquid as we can. See that? Drain all that liquid off of that. Now, what we're gonna do now, like I said, this is the only time I use uh, thick barbecue sauce because I need it thick for a reason here. I'm gonna show you here in a second. We're gonna put the barbecue sauce on here. There we go. Now we're gonna just brush this on here like this. All the chicken have barbecue sauce on it. Brush it on that real nicely, man. See how pretty that is? People never know you did it inside the, the oven. Make sure every piece get barbecue sauce. That's very important. A little bit more on here. Uh, this smells so good. And I'm gonna use this whole bottle because I got a lot of chicken here. All right. Brush it on there real thick there. Just say this takes no time. I, like I said, you can use any rub you 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 want on this chicken. Like I said, I just used my Cavendish Greek seasoning and uh, and uh, paprika. You can use any rub you want. Okay, now, now what we gonna do now? Got it all brushed set. We gonna put put foil on. We gonna now we gonna cover it. Cover it real good here. And we're going to turn the oven down to 350 now. You remember we had it on 500. 450, 500 for 45 minutes uncovered. Now we're going to cook an additional 35 minutes in the oven covered on 350 degrees. And we will be back in about 35 minutes. I'm going to show you the final result. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. It's been uh, about 45 more minutes here in the oven. Let me take it out here. We're gonna see what we got here. Open this thing up real slowly. A lot of steam gonna come out of there. Look at that. Look at that. See how pretty that is? Nice. Nice and tender, perfectly cooked. Look at that. Old school barbecue chicken, y'all. It burned in the oven. Look at that. Okay, now we're gonna plate this up here. Put this to the side. Get my platter here. And get a better look at it here. Like I said, y'all can use any kind of chicken. I like, I said, I like thighs and legs. You like breasts, you can do breasts. But I think the legs and thighs is a is a, a more flavorful part of the chicken. And that's why it was important to throw the drain the juice off of it. So the barbecue sauce can stay on it. And you don't want it swimming in juice. And you got a little, just a little remnants of the sauce left there. 
And this recipe, it calls for like 10 pounds of chicken, but you can cut the recipe in half. Like I said, when I do cheap barbecue chicken or barbecue, I always do a lot. Now, what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna take this extra, look at that extra sauce in there. We're gonna just kinda pour it over there on top there. Pour it right there on top. See that? That's all flavor. It's all goodness and flavor. Look at that. Look at that pretty that is. See that? All done in the oven. It took about an hour to do. See that? See how pretty that is? Now let's try a little piece of this chicken here. Yes, sir. Look at that. See how juicy? Nice and juicy there. See that? Perfectly cooked. Mm-hmm. Nice flavor because the seasoning and liquid smoke is important too. So you got the smokiness of the liquid smoke sauce. So anyway, try this recipe. Very simple, very easy. Please comment. Give this recipe a thumbs up. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day.